So once again, good evening, my dear sisters and brothers. Our saints of today, you know, is like being molded from our gospel for today. Pero usually, hindi siya nagtatama. Halimbawa, ang reading natin ngayon is not the special reading for the commemoration of St. Andrew Kim Taigon, Paul Chong Hasang, and their companions. Ito ay piyesta ng September 20. Napatapat lang na lunes, napatapat na it is the 25th week in ordinary time. But in the reading of today, or the gospel of today, we talk about lights, or a lamp with a light on it. And Jesus was reminding his followers that we are like lamps with light on it, following from him. Anong sabi doon sa kay John, sa prologue ni John, no? that this light came, shone, and the darkness could not overcome it. And drawing that light from Jesus, that fire from Jesus, a Christian life becomes a lamp that is put in a lampstand for others to see and for others to be guided. At kung ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay yung martyrs of today, ay eh itong mga martyr na ito ng Korea ay mas maningas pa ang kanilang pagiging ilaw, ang kanilang pagiging ningning sa mga pangkaraniwan ng pinag-uusapan natin ng mga Korean stars. In these past years, pag nabanggit ang Korean, ay, ang pag-uusapan na natin ay yung mga telenovela na pinagpupuyata natin, no? series after series, o K-pop, Gangnam, Samgyup, <laughs> BTS, so, Stray Kids, EXO, ano pa ba? Blackpink. Of course, it is part of our culture, the pop culture. But tonight or today in our liturgy, I, the celebration of today brings us to those important people in the growth of the church especially in Korea. And until now, Korea is the, one of the fastest growing church, not only in Asia, but in the world. But I've read an article about the life of these martyrs and the mood of the sharing was about being missionaries from a lay perspective or yung bang may element ng pagkalaiko lalo na ang pagdadala ng katolisismo sa Korea by canonizing our martyrs our saints of today ay sinasabi na it is an acknowledgement on how ordinary people can become bringer of good news, carrier of the light that Jesus was talking about. O ayan, sabi dito, si Paul Chong Hasang was a nobleman whose father and brother were martyred. Sacrifice was in his genes. He traveled back and forth from China. No? to ask the Chinese church to send priests to the lay-led Korean church. No. And because of their faith, they were eventually martyred. Ang, ang pari dito kasi sa ating martyr ngayon ay si Father Andrew Kim Taigon. He was the very first native-born Korean priest. 
But we may say that, well, it is very tragic that he was beheaded at the age of 26 in September 1846. Newly ordained. Parang one year pa lang yata siya na ordinahan. But many are saying that, well, he knew the struggle in Korea during that time when it comes to expression of one's faith, especially in Jesus Christ. Many perished. Many died. And today we are acknowledging no, their contribution to the church and giving us an example of what Jesus is telling us in the gospel of today. Naalala ko tuloy yung isang aawit na yung tawag ay pass it on yata yun. No? Yung it only takes a spark to get the fire growing or glowing and soon all those around no, will warm in its glowing. The spark coming from Jesus Christ is passed unto us and through his words he is reminding us that let that goodness that Jesus had given us shine in our family in our communities especially that symbolically no darkness is surrounding us at sa ating mga naranasan ngayon marami tayong mga ganito no mga pwede natin siguro sabihin na mumunting ningas and even the many actions or the actions that many of you have done are considered sparks, are considered as lights that has somehow reflect the true light, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, let your light shine on us. Minsan nahiya tayo, minsan natatakot, o minsan naman siguro ay wala tayong lakas ng loob. But, as a faithful Christians, as, as I said, receivers of blessings, receivers of grace, receivers of light from our Lord Jesus Christ. And, being true to the gospel of today, we ask the Lord to help us to do good and avoid evil. And, like the martyrs that we have today, may we be faithful to Jesus even in difficult or trying times like what we are having right now. May we be like Christ, the light that shines in the darkness. We, as light, like the one put into his stand so that others may see it to be guided, to be led, to experience what we are experiencing in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. So let your light shine because that light is from our Lord Jesus Christ, the one whom the darkness did not or cannot overcome. Amen.